everybody welcome back to another video and today we are opening a subscription box from the vaultcardclub.com it is a sports card subscription service we're gonna open this up and see what you can pull from a box of these this is our second subscription box we've done this weekend so give you lots of different options if you're thinking about getting a subscription box usually they're really good for people that don't have the time to get out to the store they might not have a local card store around or a walmart so inside here we have a vault junior pack which we actually reviewed this um i think back in january of uh, this past year so i do remember the vault junior pack to get the kiddos involved which is a pretty cool um pretty cool little thing there so i will take this vault junior pack and put it aside next to olivia's little plant that's growing in her room so when she comes home she'll see the plant and this junior vault pack and rip it open um we'll put that up there and then we have some packs in here let's check out the packs now the vault card club started their subscription box service about two years ago so even though I opened one earlier this year, they've been around for a little bit longer than that. They also have a Vault Club store that has 1,000 PSA and BGS graded cards you can check out. But anyway, let's take a look at the packs that we have here. We have a Fleer Authority MLB 2001 pack. It's a hobby pack, which would be pretty cool. I haven't opened too many packs from 2001 um, back when I was not collecting anymore. I probably stopped collecting in 1998, and from 1998 through, I don't know, 2010 or so, I would just buy one pack a year whenever they came out just to check out the design, and that was it. So I don't think I ever got Fleer, though. I was always a Topps guy. And a 2001 Topps uh, Series 2 pack. Really cool. Again, with, with these um, this era of packs, there is a risk of them sticking together. Let's hope that that doesn't happen. A 1982 Donruss pack, so maybe we'll pull a Ripken out of there. And a 2005 Bowman Chrome Pack, which is pretty nice. How about a 1989 Upper Deck Pack? Maybe you find a Griffey Jr. Rookie. Topps Chrome from 2005. 2012 Bowman Chrome. Then we have a Heritage Pack from 2001. So 2001, we'll be chasing after Ichiro and Pujols Rookie Cards. Hopefully we can find one of those. And a 2010 Bowman Chrome Pack looking for Steven Strasburg. So let's see what we can find. I don't even know where to start. Um, nice mixture of older packs. I guess we'll start with 2005 Bowman Chrome. You can see Philip Humber's on the front. He didn't really um, last too long. I think he might have thrown a no-hitter, though, in the big leagues at one point. Uh, also, just to let you know, there are three different subscription levels for baseball, basketball, and football for the Vault Card Club, they got the experience of, experience box for 30 the deluxe box for 50 and the high rollers box for 100 So we're starting off with Ryan Galeski there, then Russ Ortiz. I remember him from his Giants days. Then Jair Jurgens, remember him from his Atlanta Braves days. And Richie Sexton, who was a really tall dude. He's like six foot seven, I think, or 6'8". Wow, 6'8", so really tall dude. Uh, lots of power. So next up, let's stick in the Bowman family and go to Bowman Chrome from 2012 and see if we can find a Bryce Harper. That would be pretty nice. Let's see what we've got in here. We've got Ian Kennedy, Niger Morgan, former Bucket right there, Jeremy Nowak, and Kevin Pilar's first Bowman Chrome card. Pretty nice. Um, saw some of these out at this junk store this past weekend. Has a whole bunch of stuff. I ended up buying one box. It was like 4,000 cards in there. But there's a bunch of good Bowman rookies in there. My brother bought three boxes and found a ton of ton of great stuff. We'll bring that video to you very soon. All right, let's do Bowman Chrome from 2010. Also, I'm opening this. So this week, I, I see a note here in the box that the Vault Club has also introduced a new product called the Classic Box which is the one that I am opening right now. So this is the classic box. 
This is currently offered for only baseball and football. So that's why these packs are a little bit older. You don't see any new ones in here. Matt Carson, Kevin Millwood, Ethan Hollingsworth, and Ross Malpress. So I haven't really even heard of any of those guys except for Kevin Millwood from his days with the Braves. So the classic box, basically, if you're wondering how much of this box costs, it is $79.95 and consists of packs from 2012 and before. And you have the opportunity to pull some rookie cards, like this 2001 Flare Pack. Maybe we'll find somebody such as an Ichiro or Pujols hiding out in here. That'd be pretty nice. Chasing after the rookies. So we have Roberto Alomar leading things off. Sean Green. Then we have a Nomar, Nomar, Nomar Garcia Parra with a seal of approval. Mike Sweeney and Preston Wilson. Why don't we stay in the 2001 year and do this 2001 Top Series 2? Now, I don't have my Beckett handy to figure out what series exactly the good rookie cards are in. So um, if I was asking for one thing of the Vault Card Club, I would say that I'd like a little piece of literature, or just a piece of paper listing the pack and the rookies that I could possibly be looking for. That would make it um, I don't know, a lot easier on me, I guess. So 2001, we got Willie Blair. Now 2001 are very sticky cards, and they are sticking. So we're going to have to carefully separate these and hope that we find an Ichiro in here. I'm always afraid to do 2001 for Throwback Thursday just because of their tendency to stick together. And if we bend them back and forth, we can get them apart. But you see there's some paper loss on that Cliff Floyd. Lance Berkman looks like everyone's going to have a little bit of paper loss. Chris Truby, Brian Ricard, it's not too bad. Bobby Higginson, you can see all those little dots. That's not dirt flying up, that's paper loss. Steve Finley and Javier Vasquez. So no big time rookies there. Well, let's do this 2005 Topps Chrome and see what we can find. 2005, Kyle Farnsworth, former Cub, former Royal, former Pirate, former everybody. Gerardo Parra. No, that's Manny Parra. Whoops. Bert and DeRosa. Mark DeRosa, who's now an analyst on the MLB Network. So, so far we haven't pulled any top rookies yet. We have three packs left to get it done. All right, let's do this. 2001 Heritage. There's eight cards in here. This would be, I think, is this the 1952 design? Yeah, this is pretty sweet. 1952 design, the first year of Heritage. Here's a nice big stick of gum. I'm wondering if that's what the gum looked like back in 1952, that shape. Um, I'm not sure because I've never opened a pack of 52, but we've got Tony Batista used to have a really crazy batting stance, almost squaring up and facing the pitcher. Troy Gloss and anybody else. Garen Anderson was decent. Andrew Jones and Kip Wells. So, so far we haven't found any big time rookies. We've got two packs left, so I left these two. Let's do 82 Don Ross and see if we can find a Ripken. That would be pretty cool. So far, commons. And that's all we're going to get is commons. So we're down to our final pack. It is a pack of 1989 Upper Deck. We'll be looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card. Randy Johnson, Gary Sheffield, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz. Let's see if we can find him. Usually a box of these goes for at least $100. So packs of these, typically if you see them at, I don't know, card show are usually at least, you know, they're around 5 bucks or so per pack. We have Darren Jackson leading things off, Kent Herbeck, Rod Booker, Sandy Alomar Jr. Now, if this was 1989, that would have been worth a few dollars at least. That was a hot card back in the day. Ron Hassey laying down a bunt, Jay Buhner. Willie Wilson, as the cards go back and forth. Upper deck from the uh, 89 through early 90s. Always did that, going every which way. We have our two hologram stickers here. It's a Brewer sticker and Padres. Mario Diaz. A little bit of, um, I don't know, 
something on his chin there. Looks like some residue from the hologram. John Moses, Rex Hudler, Mike Lavalier, Lance Parrish, Tom Bernanski, Howard Johnson, and Cal Ripken Jr. is the last card. So we didn't get any big-time rookie cards in the box, but that's the way the boxes go uh, with packs. Every pack basically is a lottery ticket. Sometimes you'll hit it big. Sometimes you won't hit anything at all, but you come away with some cards that you can... I don't know these cards would be good for sending off to retired players for through the mail. We also have this Vault Junior pack, but I'm not going to open that up. We'll save that for Olivia. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to check out um the vault card club.com go ahead and uh, type in that to your browser check them out appreciate you guys watching and i hope if you're new here you'll hit that subscribe button and the like button if you enjoy this video and in the meantime i will see you all later